All right, next up, uh, as I was saying, we have Jim Lawler. He's been in the hot seat before. He doesn't remember it, but uh, but we all do. Jim's a good guy, though. I got to say, this this guy, he has a big, beautiful heart, and it's always in the right place. Seriously, Jim. Unfortunately, he has a tiny, grotesque penis, and he's always putting it in the wrong places. We love him anyway. All right, let's welcome him up here, Jim Lawler. Tribute to Anthony, I decided that I would wear his Sunday's best. <laughs> Apparently the... Uh, is that my shirt? No, this is mine. <laughs> Apparently the grease look works for him. In fact, he's starting his own clothing line called, called Grease Wear. It attracts the older ladies. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you know, Schwa, Schwa playing poker and him having sex have one thing in common. He's always all in, but that's because he's short stacked. <laughs> you know, my four and a half months is nothing on that guy. I'm proud of him. It's been like over a year since he's had sex. Difference is, his isn't by choice. <laughs> this man has a serious case of MSB, massive sperm buildup. When Schwa sweats on the top of his head, yeah, that's not sweat. <laughs> He's like a protein blow pop. <laughs> Makes sense why women are always licking his head. <laughs> you know, I didn't think anything of it. I mean, it is talent. Doesn't the sign coming into town say, welcome to talent, if you fuck one, you fucked everyone? <laughs> yeah, the women in talent may be easy, but at least they don't stink like those dirty hippies in Ashland. <laughs> Speaking of dirty hippies, Jenna Faye is here. I saw her at the grocery store buying extreme hippie douche. Knocks out the worst smelling odors. <laughs> and man, did she need it. Smelled like a rotten fish carcass. I thought I was standing next to a dumpster out back of a fish processing plant. <laughs> but for her boyfriend, Ogre, it's like a pheromone. He could track that shit for miles. People ask him, he's like, hey, where's Jenna at? She's at the mall <laughs> in Hot Topic. She gives a new meaning to the phrase, smells like tuna, tastes like chicken. It's more like, smells like death, it tastes like rotten asshole. Must taste like you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, since, <laughs> wow. Well, I don't need those anymore. Well, since I brought up asshole, Keith is here. <laughs> You know, I used to live with this guy, me and my 11-year-old son. Talk about two and a half men from hell. You think Charlie Sheen had a coke habit. Difference is, Charlie Sheen bangs hot women. <laughs> you know, Keith likes to talk a lot, you know, for those of you that know him. I nicknamed him Sir Talks a lot. In fact, I don't know what's bigger, Keith's mouth or the women he fucks. <laughs> Keith is a boob guy, he loves the big tits. In fact, he bases his women off his GPA, nothing but D's. <laughs> Keith's idea of a roast is fucking a fat chick in the ass while she farts. <laughs> if, Keith was a tire, if, if Keith was a tire shop, his slogan would be, big or small, I service them all. When it comes to women, he doesn't discriminate. Let's give, it a hand, give Keith a hand for providing a public service. For you ladies out there looking for a quickie, Brian Carpenter is your man. He redefines the term nooner. He's so quick, he'll be in and out and gone in 60 seconds. That's how he's gotten away with date rape for years. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even know he's there. Brian's only got one move, three pumps and an apology. <laughs> he fucks like a jackrabbit. It's like bam, 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 and then passes out. That's why he had to leave Reno. I mean, he didn't mean to suffocate that bitch, but whenever you got 250 pounds of man titty on your face, the outcome's never good. <laughs> Other than being a wannabe comedian, Scott May is also a nurse for a proctologist. He takes pride in his work. He's constantly asking me, to, uh, asking to examine me. 
He says practice makes perfect. I think he's got an anal fixation. And here's my proof. Another job that Scott is so proud of is being the stunt double for all the sex scenes at Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> he, he is professional. He wanted everything to be perfect. I would say he was anal about it. It took, it took them 10 days to film the first minute. He kept saying, cut. Can we get someone bigger? I'm not feeling anything here. How am I supposed to look like I'm enjoying getting fucked in the ass if I can't feel it? He's super excited for the sequel, Broke Ass Pass. Ben is a good locksmith. Affordable is questionable, but he is a good locksmith. He can get into your car, your office building, your house or apartment. Yeah, that's scary. Stalker. <laughs> he can get into almost everything. He just can't get into women's pants. He has a hard time with the belt buckles, zippers, and buttons. <laughs> He's trying to bring back the chassis belt. He could pick those things in five seconds. <laughs> you know, Anthony tried to join a cult once, but the Mormons wouldn't let him in. <laughs> he prefers the Catholic religion anyway, because he gets to drink, smoke, and fuck little boys. <laughs> if Anthony was on a milk carton, you see a picture of Jesus from hell, and it would say, missing, but who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, you know, Anthony is one sick fucker. This guy is one sick fucker. His method of birth control is after he busts his nut, he sucks it out like the cream filling of a Twinkie. <laughs> when he did it with Oprah, it was a cupcake. <laughs> and that's all I have for Anthony. Happy birthday, bro. I love you to death. <laughs>